I'm at 36A, which uh, is not what I was hoping for. I was actually hoping for a C. That's not gonna happen, I'm sorry. I'm gonna measure you for bras. I heard that's what's gonna <laughs> go down today. For women, bras are a necessary evil. If you need the support, they're there to support you. Mm -hmm. But at the end of a hard day at work, you take it off and yeah. it's the best feeling in the world. That's, that's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. That's not gonna do it. Yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> Duh. The most universal bra I would say is like, you know, just like a nice demi cup bra. But you have to be aware of sister sizes because the 34B. Did you just say sister sizes? Yeah. Okay, what's that all about? 34 b sister Got is 32 C because 34 is like your it's the band. Closest one to that other one. Right? Exactly. Boom! Holler at your boy! Good job. It took me seven minutes, y'all. So I can feel like a bit of pressure on the back, but it, it actually kind of makes me want to stand up straight more. I understand why bra burning happened in the 60s, because this is a whole restrictive thing right here. Sports bra provides comfort, and it holds you in when you're working out. So if you're bouncing around at the gym doing stuff, your breasts aren't going to be all over the place. Mm -hmm. It's going to hold you in place, and you're going to be good to go. There's so much to remember, uh, and incorporating something like this into your daily routine, it might be a challenge. Ladies, <laughs> my hat goes off to you, and my bra goes on. They don't show up on the shirt. Oh, wait. Maybe they do. Seatbelts and bras are just a terrible mix. It's hot in these cups, dog. Like, I don't have any breast in these cups, and it's still warm. I could definitely feel the strap, one of the straps, like really, really bearing down into my shoulder, but I didn't know that it would leave a mark like this. I got red marks all on my undercarriage and stuff here. I'm take this goddamn thing off. Oh, God. Oh. I, I don't think I can make it out of the house in a timely fashion. I'm gonna have to wash these later. I think I'm gonna call my mom. Hey mom, I have a question for you. Sure. Um, I was wondering, how do you wash a bra? Well, I wash it with the warm water and a little bit salt by hand. All right, just got done with the run. And uh, if you'd like to know what it feels like to wear a sports bra, it's like wearing boxer briefs made of wet, scuba suit material. I do gotta say, standing in the Starbucks, in the Bronx, talk about self-conscious. The worst thing of wearing a bra for a week was wearing a bra for a week. <sighs> this is your whole day. With a strapless bra, this movement is your whole day. The worst part about wearing a bra for a week was actually getting the thing on. I caught people staring at my chest and it made me feel like a deer in the headlights. I got some eyes on me. Wearing the bra was very hot. Now sports bras are much more comfortable. I don't think it's possible to relax with a bra on because you lean back and it's like, there it is. And so you're messing around with it. The marks on the skin, man, like on my rib cage and on my back, I just, it was digging in. The best part of wearing a bra for a week is coming home after a long day of work and just taking off the bra. It's such a relieving feeling. Look, ladies, you know the saying that, you know, you couldn't walk a mile in my shoes? Well, I could not last a week in your bra. They can get caught, like, right in there. Yeah. That is not a good feeling.